So what's going on, James? They say you're finished. What do you think? I think you're just getting started. Leave James Bond alone. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. I still remember my first Bond movie. It was 1979's Moonraker, starring Roger Moore. My older cousin, he took my brother and I to the theater so we could watch it, and I've been hooked ever since. The action, the chase scenes, the, the suave way Bond pulled it all off. Now, being that I was young when I saw Moonraker, I'll admit, I wasn't too enamored with all the womanizing and drinking, but I grew to like those aspects of the, the film franchise as I got older. A new Bond movie is about to come out, though, and in Britain there is a debate over the future of the longest-running, most successful spy movie franchise in history. They're asking questions like, should Bond be a woman? Or should Bond be gay? In a word, no. My position is putting me in some odd company, not only with Sir Roger Moore, but also with Piers Morgan, who actually had a momentary bout of sanity and wrote a column for the Daily Mail supporting Moore and saying James Bond shouldn't be turned into Janet Bond. Let me give you some backstory here. Daniel Craig, who I really like as Bond, he's the current actor playing the role, he was asked about the idea of a gay or female Bond as he was promoting the new movie Spectre, and here's what he said. Anything's possible, you can do anything as long as it's credible and it works. Well, I'm a big fan, and I don't think a gay or female Bond would be credible or work, but others, like those people that celebrate, or perhaps the better word is fetishize, diversity, they're cheering this idea. But not Roger Moore, not Piers Morgan, and not me. Moore rightly pointed out that changing Bond in this way, well, it just wouldn't be true to the character. He said, I have heard people talk about how there should be a lady Bond or a gay Bond, but they wouldn't be Bond for the simple reason that wasn't what Ian Fleming wrote. It's not about being homophobic or, for that matter, racist. It's simply about being true to the character. And you want to have a spy movie with a woman as the lead? You want to have a spy movie with a gay lead? Go ahead. But it won't be Bond. I'm sure it could be very successful, but it's just not James Bond. As Piers Morgan said, do you really want to hear Bond? Janet Bond? Look, Bond is a, a suave dude. He's a womanizer. He's a drunk. He looks great in a tuxedo. Change all of those things or any of those things, it's no longer Bond. Well, that wouldn't stop a gay Bond. Some people will say a gay Bond can still look great in a tux. True, but, well, it wouldn't be the same. Let me read to you from Morgan's column in the Daily Mail. If James Bond's gay, then the whole tone of the franchise has to go gay, too. His lovers would be gay men. Bond girls would become Bond boys. What's the problem with that? I hear the PC brigade howl. They always howl, FYI. Well, nothing, except I wouldn't want to watch that, nor I suspect would the vast majority of Bond movie fans. So the film would tank and the franchise would die. This is not homophobia. I think I've proved my anti-homophobia chops on air at CNN and regularly on social media. It's simple commercial reality. Bond's 50-year brand has been built on a clear, definable platform of him being a ruthless, womanizing assassin. As Morgan said in his column, he's tried acting, he's been in several movies, but he knows his limits. He knows he can't play Wonder Woman or Mary Poppins, Nelson Mandela or Martin Luther King. I'm sure he'd like to play all of them, but he can't. Bond is a character, a well-defined character. Making these kinds of changes will turn off longtime fans like myself, millions of others. That has nothing to do with any kind of bigotry or phobia. It's simply that when you go to see a Bond movie, you expect certain things. You want certain things. The movie franchise is already suffering the weight of the PC mentality, making it harder to find who the villain is for fear of offending people. Morgan ends his piece in saying, For God's sake, let Bond be Bond and let the PC police be damned. I'll drink to that, and I bet you will too.